morning, bro. Hello. You alright? <laughs> you alright? Yeah, we've just done um, sprint planning for the week. It's going to be a bit of a weird one. So we've just released um, the Cupixels DLC mm -hmm. and the Hexseed. DLC is pretty much done. Yeah. So there are a few things that still need um, doing for it. I need to test all of the levels for it. Um, again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, and there's, there's, we noticed that the auto test is um, though that it's past one level that it shouldn't, um, and there's one level that it's failing on. So I need to revisit the auto test and stuff for it because um, we really don't want any false positives um, and giving people levels that they can't complete. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm also going to work on Switch stuff as well. We're going to try and get the in, the um, Hexeeds Switch Store stuff done this week. Um, I don't know. If we'll, we'll, do. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try. There's a there's a lot of stuff we just don't understand. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna give it a try. Um, and then there's a few finishing touches we still need to do for that. But yeah, what are you doing? Lee? Yeah. So obviously a little bit with this. That's a bit. DLC. Um, it's all minor stuff though, like changing the descriptions in game. Yeah. Um, some of the little things that shouldn't should take too long at all. Then there is the store page assets. I'm going to try and get the art done because there's different resolution images that I needed for Switch as opposed to what we've got for Steam. Yes. So we're making some new images for that as well. Um, and if once, once everything's tied away, the uh, poll for the next Clone Pistols DLC that finishes today. Um, Optical Illusions is currently what's winning, so we can probably make a good start on that, um, just towards the end of the week, if I get onto it. Okay, so um, to start off today, I've just been looking at this false positive that Kim found on the weekend. So this is a subject, um, a subject there, a sub... Yeah, so this is a, uh, a subset of a level that's in uh, the new DLC. Uh, basically, it was passing this um, when it shouldn't be. So, so it gets to uh, this section here, and this is impossible to solve. Uh, you can progress one more, actually, if you just click one more frame, yeah, you get this too. Um, and then what the validator was doing was it was uh, clicking this tile here, which isn't guaranteed to be safe, and then from there you can solve it. So it was doing that wrongly, um, but I managed to fix it now. I just need to go back through and double check that my fix hasn't broken anything else for any of the other levels. Um, we also There was also another level that I found over the weekend that was misclicking as well, but with this fix, that seems to have gone away. So it seems like it was um, related, yeah. So it get, now it's just getting stuck um, and, it, and it lags out as it's trying to brute force the, uh, the last options. But yeah, that's good, it's fixed. Okay, so if, um, Spent most of the afternoon working on the Switch store, store page stuff. Um, I can't really show you any of that. Um, it's just been a bit of a faff. A lot of data entry, um, just like when we were doing localization. Well, it's effectively doing the same thing again, right? I've sort of been looking at how DLCs work as well. Um, so I don't think um, the API allows you to bring up a store page individually. What, it, what you can do is you can sort of like go to hit the page where all the DLCs are listed. So a bit similar to what this um, year one pass was effectively doing, right? Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, get rid of this year one pass button um, and make this store page button link to the list of all the DLCs. Uh, so unfortunately, you'll be able to see some ones you already own, but hopefully people are just buying the season pass anyway. Lee, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. We've got a lot of noise outside, I don't know what that is all yeah. about. I think people are moving cabinets around. What are you doing? What am I doing? Um, so, didn't get a chance to do the smaller tasks for Sassabit yesterday, so I'm going to get them done straight away. Um, but it's all my stuff, I've like, got updating the inscription game, so it shouldn't take too long at all. Once that's done, I'm going to make a big start on the stoppage assets for Switch for the e-store. It's e-shop, Lee. The e-shop. It's the e-shop. Oh. <laughs> 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 back from Switch already. <laughs> Yeah, that'd be my first real contribution to Switch at this point. Um, oh, that's yeah. so sad. <laughs> you felt with the testing. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think that I don't probably shouldn't take too long either, just because I've already got the sort of uh, Photoshop files that I'll try and show you. I'll just give you sizing to fit the uh, aspect ratios. So, hopefully not too bad. Yeah, um, the, I think the thing is, is just a, there's a lot of different images that we need. I think that's the main. Yeah, it's more of a long task than a hard task. But, yeah. Yeah, see how long that takes me. Um, I'm sure there's a lot more I can carry on with if I finish that early, but we'll see. I don't want to overstay what I'm doing. <laughs> Um, yeah, as, as for me, I'm going to um, try and get the different controller configurations for the Switch working. So at the moment it only works in handheld and separated, so generally you can disconnect the controllers. 
I need a prop, but I haven't got the switch out yet. There's nothing there. Um, yeah, so you need to make it work with just, just single Joy-Con um, for both left and right, and the Pro Controller as well. I feel like there's more configurations than that, but... Yeah, I'm gonna do that, and then if I've got time, start working the controls page, because it's all mouse clicks, and it should be A button, B button stuff. So yeah. Okay, so the, um, we've got the game working with both controllers like docked in. Is he banging next door? I'm gonna have nervous. Um, yeah, but we also want the game to work with um, each individual Joy-Con um, by itself, which means that we're gonna have to like encode, um, rotate, the controls basically um, which at the moment it, it just behaves normally um, like it would would when it's um, in the dock so we need to flip that around so up is right and stuff like that and swap these buttons around so they're um, all different things um, and also make sure that it's actually taking input from these two buttons as well so SL and SR which are different from L and ZL and all of that and we need to make sure it's all working on the Pro Controller as well, um, which I believe it should be, but um, we need to double check all of that. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be a matter of um, going through all of the code where we've um, referenced all of these different buttons and stuff and making sure that it all works when um, in different configurations. So it's getting up to 11 o'clock and I'm finished with the small tasks for Sessa bit. So that's the in-game description, so the little tabs at the top now show the correct number of levels um, in all languages. And I can see here I've updated the store page as well. So I've got new screenshots with the new highlighting asset that Rob's worked on. So all the screenshots are up to date. And down here, uh, we've got a, a GIF of the mechanic in action. We, need, we do this with whenever there's a new mechanic. Uh, we've done this twice now, just to show off what you're getting with the DLC. So hopefully that's uh, clear enough for anyone coming to buy the game. Uh, but yeah, now I'm going to head on to doing all of the images that are required. Most of these are screenshots, so I can't do those, but all the banners for the eShop and stuff like that. We're going to start working on getting those ready. Okay, so I think that's about um, all the control schemes pretty much set up. Um, I do need to have a quick pass at this controls uh, menu to make this bit better. But um, for the moment, I've actually just been working more on actually getting the the game ready for submission. Um, so one of the things that needs setting up is this, um, well, basically the installation stuff. So this is actually the game installed on the Switch now, um, so it doesn't have to be plugged in. Okay, I'm not plugging that. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's gonna get cut. That's good. That's gonna get cut in. So we need we need basically some um, new images um, for this logo bit, and some there's some more back end stuff that needs to be set up. Some legal lines um, that needs writing into the metadata and stuff. I've just been sorting that really, uh, working out how to upload as well, um, which has been a faff. But yeah, it's just nice to actually be able to have the game actually visible properly in the main menu. I've got that. I just realised I haven't watched the, the, the devlog. Literally said I would do it, like first thing in the morning, and I just haven't. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fine. Uh, got forgiven. <laughs> so it's afternoon now, um, and I've just finished with all of the assets that we need, at least one that we know of for now, um, for the Switch eShop. Um, so you can see all the recent files, just been going through, um, changing all the fonts, obviously with some of the text. Um, especially in say, Korean. Text is a lot shorter than the word hexied, so I've had to sort of squash the logo down a bit, so it's only five uh, hexes there instead of nine. Uh, but yeah, I think it still looks all right, so it's quite good. And yeah, we've gone through all the different languages, that I'm, or all the different alphabets that I needed um, for the store pages that we're supporting. So yeah, now that that's done, I'm gonna quickly go on and do the QA testing that's been set here for hexied, all the bug fixes that Rob's done. Uh, just to make sure they're all right, and then once that's done, probably going to some coloring pixels um, because the optical illusion book was selected by the Patreons for the next DLC, so we have to start on that. Okay, so I think all of the um, these logo things have been updated with the, what Lee has made now, so I think this is the language is set to uh, simplify Chinese now. You can see the logo's updated, the name's updated, uh, compared to the just the, this the debug version we've been using. And yeah, this is the actual application, it's all updated um, to the native language of the Switch. So I've spent some time um, doing some more um, eShop submission stuff. So you have to write up different um, tests, basically, um, for, for the Nintendo testers to come and check. So things like, um, how do you access the, the store page stuff? Um, and like, if you've got any 
promotional stuff for any DLCs in your game, where is that? Like this, like 100 new, uh, 100 plus new levels. Stuff like that, we have to like provide like instructions on how to get there and stuff. Things like uh, touch controls and things like that. Um, so I've been doing that, boring stuff, but um, I've also made some progress on the control stuff. Um, not much. I uh, basically removed the uh, <laughs> the um, mouse um, mouse images. I've also noticed a little bug here. So if you tap up here, um, then it the UI selects it, and I don't think we need that. So I'm probably going to add that to my to-do list tomorrow. So I'm going to go home now at uh, 20 past five. I spent a bit of time this afternoon doing the YouTube video. Um, so we have watched the vlog and there were some audio changes that needed to be made. Um, so that's all done, the vlog's uploaded and scheduled for the rest of the week. So we'll just forget about that for the rest of the week, which is good. And as you can see on screen here, um, we're making some new images. So these are all for the new book, which is Optical Illusions. So we're going for the uh, Penrose Stairs and the Penrose Triangle. Obviously, classic uh, illusions where you don't know where the shape stops or starts. And then some similar pattern illusions as well. So this one, more you zoom out, the better the effect you get. These are all straight lines. If you zoom in, you can see perfectly straight lines. But because of the way it's all put together, yeah, I don't know where to focus. And yeah, these, that's sort of the idea we're going to go for. Some patterns um, and some non-pattern illusions, just to see if we can get a nice mixture of the images in there. Morning, bro. Morning. Music Wednesday. Music Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Might need to. We're, we're cancelling it though today. Yeah, so might need to give a miss. Um, the Rainbow Six Siege tournament's back on. Very important. Yeah, very, very important. <laughs> yeah, all of our teams got through to the top bracket, so they're basically all fighting each other today. So it's like <laughs> we're two pounds riding on this. Two pounds. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, today for me, um, I'm going to be actually doing the the controls stuff like the control screen stuff um we've been saying i've been saying that i'll be doing that for like two weeks now but um yeah i'm actually going to make the assets so it would be like a button to do whatever a buttons do etc etc um yeah there's gonna be a couple of complications with that i think because it has to switch which art you're using based on which configuration you're using but what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, so I'm just going to carry on the Coloring Pixels book, um, of the Optical Illusions one, the board. I uh, made a start on yesterday, as you saw. I'm just going to get another image in game to get the store percent off. That's the main priority, getting the store page ready. Um, and then once that's done, just more images. Just get as much of a head start on that as I can. Nice. Nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I've gone ahead and made all of the UI icons for all of the buttons um, for the Switch. Here they all are. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with them to be honest. I've, I've literally just copied what they've got um, for the on, on the actual device um, using slightly lighter colours because I think it'll fit the game a bit better. But yeah, I'm just going to have my lunch and then actually have a go at putting them in game. It's just off for lunch now. I've just set the uh, store page off for approval. So that's all of the assets done, the screenshots, everything. Uh, we've also done some of the smaller tasks, um, like the Discord's presence. I've uploaded the logo for that. Hopefully that'll start working soon. Um, but yeah, just going back on to getting some more images. There's the uh, the new asset for the store page, and yeah, get some more images going. See what we can get done. <laughs> um, yeah, so all of these images are now in game. Um, it's looking all right. Uh, I thought it looked it looks better on the PC, I think, but um, it's good enough, I think. Um, the most important thing is that when you disconnect uh, on the controllers, oh. Right, it's back, it's back. Um, I was doing another build quickly. Yeah, so if you um, if you remove the controllers and change the configuration, um, as you unplug it, it switches automatically all the images to um, the new configuration, which is great. Um, so what I just need to do now is add a few more of these controls dotted around to basically uh, guide the player on how to use the main menu, I think. Um, but yeah, it's quite satisfying. Yeah, so I just spent the rest of the day um, adding this little bar at the bottom, um, so it just gives you some controls um, on how to use the main menu. So it's not quite intuitive that you'd press the left and right buttons to uh, switch worlds and uh, and a few other things like that. It does change as well. So like if you get this pop up, it will say press A to continue and stuff like that. Um, and if you actually go into the settings, it will remove all of the stuff that is relevant. Yeah, there's still a couple of issues with it though. Um, so it's not still perfect yet, but um, so like if you remove the controller, 
um, yeah, we kind of want it to like all sort of slide along. But yeah, yeah, it's, it's looking good at the moment. It feels a lot more like a natural Switch game now, um, which is what we want. Um, I've also made sure that the credits menu works properly as well, which is always nice. Jay, getting ready to head off now as well to uh, half five. Had a bit of unnecessary stress down my day because I had made all the changes to the mythology book instead of the illusions book. Um, but I've gone ahead and cracked all that, so that should be all good now. Should, shouldn't be any problems now with the actual build. And in terms of where I've gone up to for the illusions book, you can see on the side here, I've got 10 images now. So that's pretty good going. Uh, they're all in game, they've all been tested at least once, just to make sure there's no outliers or any obvious problems. And uh, obviously, they'll all get the thorough test when all the images are done. Okay, we'll see how that goes and see if we can get this done by the end of the week. Late Thursday? Uh, yeah, it's my, my team beat yours and Siege yesterday, how do you feel? You're fine, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Gracious loser, I'm not. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Yeah, so uh, the store page got announced overnight, so we made that live. Um, but we're going to hold off doing the announcements just yet, because it's better soon, probably. Um, so other than that, we're just going to be doing the illusions pictures. You see there, got one started. Um, you get ten more. 10, that's the day I'll take done. Before they make pictures. What about you? I was daydreaming that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be back on the Switch. Um, just finishing off that, um, the button images. I'm just going to finish off that. There's a couple of layout bugs with that. Um, and there's some more localization stuff I need to do to make that work properly in all languages as well. Um, but other than that, try and work out how DLCs work again. Um, I think that's it for Switch, pretty much. We're just saying that that's probably good enough for submission um, once we've done that. Um, so no pressure. <laughs> hey, there we go. So um, this little bar at the bottom now is now working as expected. So you take controller out, that takes over, everything shifts along. All the spacings are right. Uh, and it looks, it looks good. Uh, it feels like a Switch game now. So. That's great. Now I'm gonna work out how on earth we do DLCs. Five hours later. Hey, so I've worked it out. So basically what you have to do is you have to make some um, like switch compatible install files, uh, then load them onto the device, and then there's just a bit of code um, that I've got that checks to see if the DLC is installed. And if it is, load the level. Yeah, so um, all of the DLCs are um, usable now, uh, which means we can test out the the timer uh, mechanic at the new big time mechanic as well uh, with this new controller configuration. But yeah, um, I'm just going to be spending the rest of the day looking at the submission stuff uh, on the Nintendo Hub. Oh, because there's so much to do on that. <laughs> just getting later in the afternoon now. I uh, made some pretty good progress on the Illusion Pook. So there's quite a few uh, new images here. They're all in game as well. I did have to remove an image from the book. That's this one here, this uh, the Penrose Stairs. That's because of, as I've checked back through, this has already been used, um, or at least something very similar, in the isometric pack. So that's been taken out, but still quite a lot of progress. That's 16 images all together now, um, and that's just a couple of days of work, so that's pretty good. Hopefully be done uh, early next week. Lee, it's it's the weekend, it's not the weekend. Nearly it, the weekend. <laughs> yeah, you've got tomorrow off because you've got a, was it a boiler? Boiler inspection, yeah. Ooh. Exciting stuff. Hope you pass. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I'm just going to work from home. Um, mainly just going to be testing the um, the new DLC for Hexseed. Yeah, it's There's just so much testing to do for that life, so I'm just going to basically sit and just do all the levels. Hopefully get it done. But it's been a good week, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. You've made good progress on Color Pixels. Yeah, quite a lot of pictures done. Bit more Siege. Quite a lot of pictures done uh, today, seven today. Um, did have to delete one because it was already being used in one of the previous books, but that's fine. But that's a total of 16 at the minute, which is uh, very quick. 16? 16. Oh, you, you've done that pretty much. Pretty much. No, no, you <laughs> Four more to go. That's good. Uh, that stuff has been approved um, and it should be live now. So yeah, yeah. Even though the DLC doesn't come out until three weeks from this comes out, um, stoppage is there, so wish list it. Please. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've, I've made some good progress on the Switch. It's pretty much good for submission now. Uh, all the DLCs are working, um, as far as we can tell, because we haven't done all the DLCs yet. Um, 
Unfortunately, we're on like a two week um, waiting period because I didn't fill out some agreements um, to the finances and tax and stuff, which sucks. So we can't actually submit anything for another two weeks. Uh, and then it's probably going to be another month after that, at minimum, before it'll be out. But um, yeah, there's still a lot of stoppage stuff for us to do. Um, but it's pretty much that. It's, it's, it's like done. Like, it's <laughs> it's done. Ready? Yeah. It's done. It's even switched. Done. On, to yeah, that's good. On the topic of Hexseed, as of this video coming out, the latest DLC should be live as well. Oh. That's uh, next week for us. Oh. We've got to do our testing. So check it out. Okay. New mechanic, big tiles. That's what you we think. Um, it's been quite fun making those levels. A bit different. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was going to be easy, but quite a few times I've, I've just been getting stuck. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's, you have to think differently with them. So, yeah. So, yeah, thank, <laughs> as normal, thank you to the uh, Patreons. <laughs> Um, thanks to everyone in the Discord. It's been a bit quiet this week, but that's because I haven't been posting anything. Uh, I'll need announcements over, but I'll put up again soon. Um, thanks for being in there nonetheless. And yeah, thanks to you for making the end of the video. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs>